In this video, we're going to talk about DMARC policies and their impact on email delivery and deliverability. What exactly is DMARC policies? So DMARC policies is a set of rules or instructions that tells the email server, the receiving site, how to handle emails that are failing DMARC. There are three sets of policies, none, quarantine, and reject. So how can you implement DMARC policies for your domain? Well, first you do need to add a DMARC record. Uh, you add that in your DNS zone, it's a TXV record. Uh, once you add that, you have the option to do none, quarantine, or reject, three sets of policies. Here at Easy DMARC, we do recommend that you start with none, just because it won't affect um, sources that are not configured properly yet. None is a good idea to start with, to monitor and configure everything, and then you can move forward with the quarantine or reject enforcement policies. Reject should be the goal and the aim for every single domain out there. It's the most secure policy that DMARC offers uh, and it will impact your delivery and deliverability. Now let's talk about the impact of DMARC policies on your email. Um, so uh, email providers like Google, Yahoo or Microsoft uh, will check your DMARC policies. Um, and determine what to do with the emails that are failing DMARC checks. So if you have none as your policy, which is the monitoring stage, that won't affect your email delivery. But if you have quarantine or reject as, as your policy, it not only protects your uh, emails from unauthorized use, it also improves uh, the domain reputation, thus Im impacting positively on your uh, deliverability. All right, finally, let's discuss some best practices uh, for DMARC policies. Uh, first, I would recommend that you start with the non-policy. That's ideal uh, to configure your sending sources. You can use Easy DMARC uh, to view your reports, monitor them, analyze them, configure them with SPF and DKIM. And then the second tip would be to gradually increase that policy to quarantine or reject when you are confident that you've configured everything correctly. Uh, and then the last tip would be to continue monitoring your reports uh, in case a new source pops up in there, you can configure it beforehand and you won't get any issues. To sum it up, DMARC policies have significant impact on your email deliverability, but it is important to understand how policies work and how to implement them correctly. The ultimate objective should be to reach a DMARC policy of reject, but beforehand you should start with none. Uh, get some reports in, analyze them, configure your email sources correctly, and then that will allow you to progressively um, switch it to higher, stricter policies, eventually reaching the highest one, which is reject. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.